Hello, I'm Kurt from the InnerPAC Academy. In today's video, we'll give you a training overview of the InnerPAC STTC series safety torque checker. When torquing fasteners in a controlled bolting application, accuracy is critical. Inaccurate torquing can lead to under tightening or over tightening of fasteners, and the results of this can be catastrophic. Most calibration services focus on calibrating either a hydraulic wrench in the case of square drive tools or in the case of low profile hydraulic wrenches, oftentimes only the drive unit is calibrated. The InnerPAC STTC series safety torque checker checks not only a wrench but your entire system including your pump, your gauge and your wrench to make sure that that system is delivering the accurate fastening that you need. Please note, however, that the safety torque checker is not a calibration system, and its use should not be a substitute for the periodic calibration of your torque tools. The InnerPAC safety torque checker is a mobile testing device designed for use with InnerPAC torque wrenches, but it can also be used with many competitor tools. At the time of this recording, InnerPAC offers four different models of the safety torque checker. The smallest that we'll be using today has a range of up to 2,140 foot-pounds, whereas the largest has a range of up to 16,100 foot-pounds. The entire unit is housed in an impact-resistant case and features a water-resistant display. The device features a hexagonal adapter and a reaction block. The wrench is mounted over the adapter and set to react against the reaction block. Next to the reaction block, a digital display displays the torque in foot-pounds, inch-pounds, or newton meters. Each torque checker comes with a calibration certificate and is accurate to 1% at full scale. Now that we've gone over the design of the system, it's time to put it to work. We'll be starting out by checking the InnerPAC S1500X using an inch and 3 16 socket. From there, we'll test the InnerPAC W2000X. I'll be testing this tool with an inch and 3 16 cassette. I chose this cassette because I knew it would fit directly over the adapter of the torque checker. But if I had a different size cassette, such as this inch and 5 8 cassette, I would simply use this cassette with the appropriate reducer to make sure that it fits properly over the adapter of the torque checker. For today's demonstration, we'll be targeting a number of different torque values. To get to those values, we'll start out by applying the pressure that we've calculated that we think we'll need to get to them. The safety torque checker will allow us to verify the exact pressure needed to get to our targeted values with a high degree of accuracy based upon the system that we're using today. For our first check today, we'll be using the S1500X and we'll be targeting 595 foot-pounds with a starting pressure of 4,000 PSI. So first I'll power the system on and set the torque reading to foot-pounds. Notice that the display is showing zero. Then I'll mount my tool, placing the reaction arm against the reaction block. Now I simply actuate my pump to the required pressure rating. As you can see, we were very close to the targeted 595 foot-pounds. But if we want to hit the 595 foot-pounds precisely, all I need to do is turn up the pressure rating on my pump until I reach my targeted torque. For our next check, we'll target 1,172 foot-pounds, starting with a pressure rating of 8,000 PSI.
Now let's try testing our W2000X low profile torque wrench. For our first check, we'll target 855 foot-pounds with a starting pressure rating of 4000 PSI. Once again, I mount the tool directly onto the adapter and position it against the reaction block and I'll apply my initial pressure of 4000 PSI. Now let's run one more check, this time targeting 1,710 foot-pounds. I'll start with a pressure rating of about 8,000 PSI. Now that I've verified the performance of the system, I can complete my job with confidence, knowing that the job will be done accurately. Take care to avoid exceeding the maximum input torque of the torque checker model that you're using. This could damage the torque checker. If you do exceed the maximum input torque, a signal will show on the display and an alarm will sound. A low battery indicator will illuminate on the display when the battery is nearly empty. To recharge the battery, use the included USB-C power supply. It can take up to about three hours to fully recharge an empty battery. The safety torque checkers should be recalibrated periodically. Inipac recommends recalibrating these units every two years or 4,000 cycles, whichever comes sooner. This concludes our instructional video for the safety torque checkers. Thanks for joining us. For more information, consult your operator's manual or contact Interpac.